Hello there, Jose Rodriguez here again. I'm in the process, of course, of setting up my Pro 10. But I just received today my brand new Red Setter chip resetter for the PGI 72 carts for the Pro 10. And I want to give you a short demonstration. It is a USB powered type resetter, and this is the only type that you should use. I have it plugged into my power source. Make sure that your plug is directly in tightly inserted into the port and simply what you do is you take your empty cart these are empty these are the ones I received from a friend of mine remove the clip and orient the cartridge so that the chip is aiming toward the contact points and push forward play around until you get good contact sometimes it takes a couple of tries here we go. It'll go, it'll flash once, it'll go solid, and then go out. That's all you have to do. So do this to all of your empties before you refill them. Once you refill them, it might be a little bit leaky, okay? Because if you squeeze the sides, you might end up leaking ink if you were resetting them after you fill them up. And that's, you know, if you've seen my Pro 9500 Mark II refilling video, you will see what I'm talking about. You want to reset these when they are still empty. That would be the safest and cleanest way to avoid spills and in ink everywhere. All right, so we will be refilling these with ink from the Pro One cartridges and also ink from Precision Colors. I will probably fill the ones that are in this printer at this moment with the OEM inks from the Pro One. Of course, avoiding, I don't need to use the dark gray, I don't need to use the light gray, but the other colors are the ones that this printer utilizes. I have over 300 cards and more to come that are supposedly empty, but they actually contain 6 to 8 ml of ink still in them. So I will be able to extract quite a bit of ink out of those cards and use all of that good OEM ink for all of my future testing that I will be doing on this printer. So that's it, I just wanted to share this with you. I also received a set of little squeezy bottles from Precision Colors. Here they are, 10 of them. That'll be the perfect setup on refilling tool for the Pro 10. So again, you will not be using syringes, you will not be using anything that will actually help you to contaminate your inks. So that's it. Um, next, we will be setting up the printer, setting up the software, the driver, and then performing our initial test prints. So let me return this back to the box, and we'll see you in the next episode, the setup and installation of the software. So we'll be back in the next video. Bye-bye.